Battletoads Arcade, also known as Super Battletoads or just plain Battletoads, is a scrolling beat-em-up game developed by Rare and published by Electronic Arts, or EA as they are more commonly referred to now. But don't worry, this is the good EA, not the corporate monster that it is now, but that's a conversation for another day. But anyway, Battletoads Arcade allows up to three players to select one of three toads, Rash, Pimple, or Zitz, and punch, kick, smash your way across six levels and save the universe from the Dark Queen. Rare was very generous with gore and violence in this version, which I found surprising and hilarious, since that is not something that was heavy in the home console versions. This was Rare's first game to use 3D graphic technology, and later was applied to Donkey Kong Country and Killer Instinct. But as awesome as this game is and was, it didn't perform well in arcades and led to a 26-year hiatus that ended in 2020 with the Battletoads reboot. So as stated before, you pick your toad, each with their own movesets and style that I can only describe as Ratitude, and punch, kick, drill, boot, nut grab, body slam your way through hordes of aliens, mutants, rats, and other various enemies. Rash is nimble, Pimple is burly, and Zitz is a balance of the two. Players use two buttons to jump or attack, and if you tap the directional twice, you can run. A series staple is that you can knock enemies off screen in a fourth wall breaking moment. The toads eat flies to regain health, and each have an exaggerated move in which their limbs turn into drills, axes, anvils, etc. The levels vary in theme and gameplay. Some are straight 2D brawlers, others 2.5D. There is a jetpack level, a shoot 'em up esque final stage, and even a timed Street Fighter 2 style bonus stage where you beat up a rat in a fighter plane till it explodes and you kick it off screen. There is also five boss battles ranging from an awesome giant snake battle to a frustrating giant robot rat. I enjoyed this game a lot. I'm already a big beat em ups fan, and this was just pure 90s attitude goodness. Yeah, attitude I said that. This game's got over the top style, it's short and sweet, and can be beat in less than an hour, so it doesn't overstay its welcome. This is one game I would recommend someone to play either through emulation, rare replay, or if you have the means, the actual cabinet. Because unfortunately, the home ports to this got canned back in the day for reasons beyond me. It's awesome, and I love Battletoads. I give this a solid recommendation as a game to add to your list, and I'm going to leave you with a fun fact. The way they got feedback for this was from hooking up a camera and a microphone into a prototype cabinet at an arcade and going back and watching a VHS tape of what the players liked and didn't like, and general thoughts, and they did this with the idea that if they asked the player what they thought, they weren't going to get actual honest feedback from them so instead they spied on them and got feedback that way which they considered to be honest feedback it's just a shame that it didn't work out for them back in the day this game is awesome i love battletoads i recommend you play any game in the series really and i give this one a solid five nut grabs out of five as always i'm stupid thanks for watching my stupid review and here's some extended gameplay <laughs>